Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh, also known as Gap. It's a lazy afternoon in Sri Lanka. So I want to do a review of my new Asus VC279 IPS monitor. I bought this mainly for my graphics work. I gotta tell you right off the bat, it's just fucking perfect. For the price, the panel is utterly incredible it's pro almost professional grade panel I got on this it's nice and big 27 inches it's just right for close-up work and um, I got the white version it looks fantastic I got the white finish color uniformity and um, gamma everything is just simply perfect Especially if you put the sRGB mode in the menu. The sRGB mode is the factory calibrated color settings for maximum sRGB levels. So if you look at the Legom tests like Gamma and everything, it aces every single test on the Legom site. It aces all, all these tests. Just simply aces them and aces them in the sRGB mode. So I gotta say, this is simply perfect bloody monitor for the price. See if you look at my site, see the the gradients in the clouds above. You can easily make out all the gradients. Can you, I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the video, but you can easily make out the gradients. So that's a sign of a really high quality monitor. If the monitor is not high quality, you'll never be able to make out all the slight gradients. Gradients. Colors simply look stunning. Also, this has almost zero backlight bleed. However, there is a bit of IPS glow that is unavoidable as it's an IPS monitor so you, you do get a lot of the IPS glow but that's only evident if you look at it from above if you're sitting back the IPS glow is almost unnoticeable viewing angles are also fantastic I'm sure the brightness can contrast or vary a bit the colors remain almost with zero variance. Also, the text clarity is really, really good. However, since this is a 27-inch monitor and the resolution is only 1080p, the PPI, the pixels per inch, is fairly low. So it won't be as sharp as here. 2K or 4K monitor at the same size. But still, even with that, the text clarity is simply perfect. Also, something else is that the blacks are really deep and the whites are really bright white, which is very, very unusual for an IPS monitor. Playing games, really fast games like Quake 3 is utterly fantastic. There's no perceivable input lag. And the motion blur is almost non-existent. There is motion blur, it's much less than the monitor I had before, the MX279. So response times, motion blur is really really good you can check out the motion blur by standing in one place and spinning around you won't be able to check see it in this uh, video but with the naked die you can easily see that when you spin around the motion blur is almost nil like a crt monitor it's so damn good 
So if you can play a game like Quake 3 without any problems, you can play any game at all. Because Quake 3 is the fastest shooter ever made in my opinion. So if, if, if you can play Quake 3 without problems, this is the perfect gaming monitor. Perfect. Okay, there's some small things I don't like. So let's get straight to that. This is only one HDMI port. So if you look around the back. Not sure if you can see. This is one HDMI port, DVI and VGA. Doesn't have DP or an extra HDMI port. So that's a big problem. If you have two HDMI sources, you're gonna be in trouble. Also, this did not come with an HDMI cable. It only came with the DVI and the VGA. Also, the menu is a pain. So the menu buttons at the bottom and those are real pain to use the buttons to navigate the menu. It's a really big problem for me. But ideally they should have had these buttons on the side. It's be much easier to access it. Also the menu is not too intuitive. intuitive. So um, heading around is a problem. But I like the splendid modes. I use mostly sRGB mode for everything nowadays because the color accuracy is perfect. Even for movies, I would use that. But sometimes I use the night mode. I use that because I set it up all the to my all the brightness and contrast to my liking for watching movies. Brightness and contrast have been put to maximus. The RGB mode, all the settings cannot be changed because those are factory calibrated for perfect um, SRGB reproduction. So you can only change the settings like brightness and uh, contrast and sharpness and everything else. It for game mode, night view, theater, standard, and scenery. Even those modes, some items cannot be changed. Only game mode, night mode, night view mode, you can change all the settings, all the parameters. So yeah, getting around the menu is a problem because these buttons are at the bottom and so fucking pain and also it's not sturdy enough the stand so when you press the button the monitor shifts up and down so that's a small problem as well also ideally the brightness may be a bit low but it doesn't really bother me it's more than enough for the things I do it's more than enough for gaming graphics and um, watching movies but ideally the brightness could could have been a bit better know what I mean so the this is the night view mode where I cranked up all the settings to max but overall I'm very 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 happy with the monitor especially for the price so almost perfect colors for graphics work, great blacks and whites for movies and very low motion blur and response times for playing games. So this, the VC279 by Asus, I reckon best of all the worlds. So if you think of buying this versus something else. Don't think twice, just just do it. You won't get a better monitor for the price anyway. As long as you can live with one HDMI port.